So in this problem, we have an indefinite integral. And I guess the strategy here is to notice that it could lead to an arctan function. If you just try to make a straight u substitution and call this u, uh, you end up, your du is going to be 4t cubed, so it's going to fail. So the trick is to first rewrite this as follows. It's t over t squared squared plus 3 squared dt. And now you see that that matches the formula that leads to arctan. So the formula that leads to arctan is the following. It's dx over a squared plus x squared. This is equal to 1 over a arctan of x over a plus c. So now it kind of matches the formula. So what we have to do now is make a substitution. So we'll set u equal to t squared. So then du becomes 2t dt. And we don't have a 2 in our integrand, so we'll divide both sides by 2. So we end up with 1 half du equals t dt. And now we're ready to make our substitution in full force. Right? We have t dt, that's right here, and that's equal to 1 half du. So we can pull the 1 half out. So we have 1 half du over, and then we have u squared, that's t squared, right? u is t squared, plus 3 squared. And now we can apply our formula. So it's 1 over a, so a is 3, so we have the 1 half hanging out, and then 1 over 3, arc 10 of and then u over 3 plus our constant c. So 1 half times 1 third is 1 sixth. And then we have arc 10. And our u was t squared. So this is t squared over 3. And then we still have our constant capital C. And that's it.